In this tutorial, we will be discussing the atomic emission spectrum. This is the study of electromagnetic radiation absorbed and emitted by atoms. Each element emits a very specific characteristic color. Atoms or molecules can absorb energy. This energy then can be released as light energy. If this emitted energy is passed through a prism, a pattern of particular wavelengths is observed. This pattern of line spectra is unique to the material absorbing the radiant light. This is called the emission spectrum. The pattern is not a continuous spectrum as if it was a rainbow, but very specific lines. Line spectra can be used to identify the chemical substances. Each chemical spectrum has a unique line spectrum. I'll give you an example. Notice down here, this is an example of a regular rainbow. All the lights are blending together. However, with the line spectrum, very specific lines show up of lights being emitted. The light emitted consists of specific wavelengths which can be separated if you pass it through the prism. So here's the prism and it passes and it separates out those wavelengths. If it was a rainbow and not just a specific element, all these colors would be filled up like it is down here. However, since it's a specific element, it breaks it up into very specific wavelengths. This creates an emission spectrum characteristic of the element. Let's now relate this to the Bohr model. Each separated line is emitted when the electron falls from one stable orbit to another. So the Bohr model has the nucleus in the middle, and then as you go further and further out, you see different energy levels. This N is referring to the energy level. And the further away you get, the higher energy level it is. Now we can look at this in a more flat view, where this is N is equal to 1 and the nucleus is down here. The electrons are absorbing energy and then as they relax back down again, they're giving off a visible light. And to jump from one level to another gives you a very distinct wavelength, which would then give you a very distinct visible light, which is why we get very specific lines here. Because the light is giving off from one energy level to the next. These are called quantum leaps, and it's all about exciting the electron and then radiating it off. So the electron absorbs the energy and is excited to an unstable energy level. Then light is emitted as the electron falls back down to the lower energy level. And that gives you an overview of the atomic emission spectrum.